So now if you've been following in the series, the last video we created a, a table that displays all of the records from my database. It will also allow us the ability to update and delete records as well. And in this particular video, we're going to focus in on adding some more code to this to kind of complete this page and the fact that we've got the ability to update and delete, but as well as add a new record to my table. So if you look at the video or the page that we created from the last lesson, We've got a record, we've got an update and delete button. What I want to have on below this is now is going to be a set of empty text boxes with the add button. It's going to allow us to add a new record so that at the end of the list of records that I have for my table, it'll actually allow us to go ahead and type in a new one and then hit add and it will be appended to my database itself. So let's go ahead and work on the code for this one. I'm going to go ahead and come back to the code here from the last video and we'll go ahead and do a control A, control C to copy that and I'll go ahead and choose file new and I'm gonna call this one after I paste it in here let's go ahead and save it and call it my data 5 so I'll click on that and just add the change of 4 to a 5 dot PHP and let's go ahead and work with our code so what I want to do now is within the same table that I've been working with I'm gonna go ahead and add a blank row of text boxes and so I've only got three records that I'm working with right now so let's go ahead and you can see here at the end of my while loop this is where the while loop will execute and then here's where my closing table will be after the while loop runs and so but between that at the end of the ending curly brace there between that and the echo statement I have here I'm gonna add another row so all I need to do is type in an echo tag and then we're gonna go ahead and do a TR for a table row and we'll do that in quotes with a semicolon and then the next line of code I'm going to go ahead and do my TD tags, the table data tags TD and let's go ahead and between the two table data tags, the opening and closing, let's do our input and the input is going to be a type and we're going to go ahead and say the type is going to end up being a text box and then after the text box we're going to go also go ahead and say that the name of that particular text box is going to be U for update and I want this one to be topic so that's my first one so we'll go ahead and I've got three different fields topic name and attendance so I'm just going to put U topic so I know it's for the update topic and then we're going to go ahead and just end that with the sorry with the greater than symbol and close this TD tag so we'll close the TD tag now one thing I want to point out here and that with a double quote and semicolon is that I'm going to need a form for this to work. I've got an input tag. You can see that I've closed my form in my loop. So what we'll do here as well is I'm going to go ahead and space down my table row tag is also insert a form. So let's go ahead and say echo echo and I'll go ahead and do the form tag. Action is going to equal my data this time it's going to be 5 dot PHP and the method is going to equal post and we'll go ahead and close that out and as I'm looking up here I can see that I need to change that now to a 5 because I've renamed my page so we'll call that my data 5 for the action of that form and it looks like my form tag is complete and so at the end let's go ahead and actually we'll add the closing echo and then we need to close that form out so we'll do the form. There we go. So now what I also want to do is I've added one, basically one cell that's empty and I've got three fields that I need to have empty uh, for me to add data. So what I'll do is just copy this line of code, paste it in here, paste it in there and instead of it being called utopic, the next one, the next field name was name and then the last field name of my database was attendance. So let's go ahead and type in attendance and they're all lowercase so keep that in mind while you're working with this. I use all your lowercase when it comes to my names of my form objects and so that's all been created for us. Let's go ahead and save the page and just see how it looks. So I'm going to come back here to my page and I need to go ahead and work with my lessons folder so I'll go to lessons and click on my data 5. It looks like I've got an error on line 53 so let me just see what the error is. Line 53 and it was because on line 52 I didn't put a semicolon. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and back and hit save. Come to my page and refresh it. 
Okay, so this is what we have so far. We've got the record that was displayed from my table. After that, I've got a, basically a set of, of text boxes that are currently empty. I still will need to add the add button. So let's go ahead and do that now. And so what I want to do is within my form, so let's go ahead and space down my last input text box. We'll go ahead and say echo. And we want to do an input. So let's go ahead and do a TD tag. And what we want to do, actually if we wanted to, and I'm going to go ahead and do that right here, is I'm going to copy my line 42. This is where I did the update button. Control C. And I'll just paste that in here for line 52. And instead of it being the type, it's going to be still be submit. The name is going to change. Instead of it saying update, it's going to be add. And the value, I'll go ahead, That's the value is going to be the text that shows up on my button. I'll change that to add as well. So now if I go ahead and save my page and then refresh the web page, I should be able to see, there we go, we have got an add button now that's going to be onto my page. And now the formatting isn't the best in my particular um, page, and that's just because I am not spending a lot of time on the actual formatting. If you know HTML formatting when it comes to tables, you may want to make your table look a little different. So now that I've got that set up here, let's go back to my code and we'll talk about my code itself. And so let's go ahead. What happens here is if they hit the button add, we're going to go ahead now and tell it to run code like we've done in the past for update and delete. So I'll just copy the one that I did for delete, come down below it and paste it and we're going to check if is set post and now we did this one here the button was called uh, add so I'm going to scroll back up here and I hate to scroll while I'm on this because it might get you lost so I'll just go ahead and uh, try not to scroll back down but the button was called add so I've got add there and then let's go ahead and instead of it being delete query I'm going to go ahead and change this to add qu query and the query is going to change from a delete statement so we want to do basically an insert statement. So let's go ahead and remove what we have here. And I'll just take that out. And I know I'm going to have to end it with a double quote and a semicolon, so I might as well just type that in there now. And let's go ahead and write our code. It's going to be insert. And it's going to be into, my table's name is lectures, so I'll type in lectures. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the parentheses here. And what I want to do is in the event that my maybe my field names are out of order from what my database has or something like that, I'm going to go ahead and just tell it which, which order they're going to be put in. So it's going to start with topic, then name, and then attendance. All right, and I'll go ahead and end that parentheses there. And now I need to tell it what the values will be for that. So I'll type in values and I'll have my double parentheses or opening and closing parentheses and so the first one topic is going to end up being dollar sign and then it's going to be the underscore post and what we have here on this one is going to be I need to put that actually in I'll put that in a double a single quote each there we go and under the after the post what we're going to have here now is I want it to pull the U which was the update topic so that I have here from my my form that I created at the very bottom here. So U topic is going to be the update topic. And so now I've got that one set. I'm going to go ahead and separate these by commas. And I'll go ahead and put in two single quotes as well. We'll also do the next field which is dollar sign underscore post. The two square brackets. And this one here is going to be uh, U and this one was name. And I, I left it all lowercase on my form so I'm going to go ahead and leave it all lowercase here. And I'll go ahead and put a comma there. And then this is going to be the last record because I only have our last field because I only have three on my form. And I'll go ahead and put in the two single quotes, the dollar sign, underscore post, and then the square brackets. And that one was named U Attendance. All right. And so that's going to be for my update or my insert basically script that I have here for my query. And now I've got that already ended with a double quote and the semicolon. So now that I've got that script written, let's go ahead and say my SQL query instead of it being delete query. Let's go ahead and change that to add query. Oops. Add query. And let's go ahead and save my page. And let's go ahead and test it to see if it's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and open up my web page and refresh it. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. The topic, let's go ahead and call it uh, PHP 3. The name, I'll go ahead and pick a different name, uh, Terry, 
the attendance. Let's say there was 22. And let's go ahead and hit add. And you'll see that that actually got updated on my table. So now I can actually um, manipulate that record itself. I can do an update or delete on that one. So let's go ahead and try another one. And let's just go ahead and call this one, let's maybe C sharp. And let's just go ahead and say this one was John. And the attendance for that one was 13. So let's go ahead and hit add. And you can see now that has also been populated on my database. And if I were to check my MySQL and refresh it, you'll see that these records are all, all added to my database as well. And I can come back here. And now that this page is complete, I can do an update, I can do a delete, and I can do an add so, or an insert on my database all from one page. Now the formatting, like I said before, is not the best. I would recommend going in and doing some HTML formatting on your table to make it look a little bit more presentable. But what I've got here is a fully functioning web page that allows me to fully manipulate my database. And like I'd mentioned before, I will be pasting the code that I have here and I'll actually just keep it called mydata5.php and I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably end up zipping it and putting it on my web page on lesson number 40 of my PHP series.